Okay, in this short video, we're going to look at visual contacts and SDOS and how to set them up and use them with Swix. So, prerequisites we have to download SDOS, Meta Directory version 3, and you can install this on the Swix server or any machine on the network. You can find the download link here, and the version you're after is version 3. So, if we have a look on the website, this is the version you're after the Meta Directory version 3 in the appropriate language. And we'll download the English version. We also need Swixit version 2011R2 MP1. And along that, you will find two new web extension skins. That's the 4.1 and the 8.1. If you're doing a new install, it should install as standard. If you're doing an upgrade or you want to double check the visual contacts is installed correctly, then all you have to do is a custom install and tick the visual contacts option. Another prerequisite is Microsoft.NET version 4. So that's 3.5 you also need and version 4, both versions of .NET on the workstations. Basically, um, this is how it works. The SDOS meta directory software uh, has some database connectors on it and it will connect to a number of external data sources. This can be Active Directory, ODBC links, Exchange, whatever you want. We create these imports and these are all stored in an LDAP directory running inside SDOS meta directory and it is this LDAP directory that visual contacts searches and displays information from and we can choose which fields we're going to import and you'll see all this when we go into that section. The real benefit of this is not only is LDAP an awful lot faster to search because we're not searching massive databases, uh, we're searching key information that we've uh, copied across, um, but also that this is a non-destructive uh, connection. In other words, there is nothing that we can do to affect the data that's in the original data sources. We are only displaying the data, so it is very safe. On the client side, um, Visual Contacts is just a web page, and if you go into it, you'll see that it's all uh, HTTP and CCS style sheets, so you can change the look if you understand how to do that. Uh, we do not need a web server, though. Uh, we are going to be using Windows HTTP.sys, which is why we have uh, .NET 4, so we have built-in web on Windows now and the Swixit client has Visual Contacts web extension which is going off to that inbuilt web server and the client line manager has a plugin which is going off to SDOS meta directory and getting the information for us. So now let's install meta directory and see how we set up the database.